In this tutorial, I will be teaching you on how to add an image onto your program. We will be using the J label. Even though it can display text, but it can also display images, so that's pretty good. So we'll be using this variable from this object, JL dot set icon, meaning that we want to add an image onto the J label. Inside of this parentheses, you type in the object, which is new image icon, open and close parentheses. And make sure that we import this library, which is javax.swing.imageicon. Once we get that done, then we have to type in the location, the location of our image inside of this parentheses. So make sure you have your double quotes. If your image is on the same file as your class, then you type in the name of the uh, image and the extension of it. If you don't have your image with your class, like if you have your image in a different file, then that means that you have to type in you have to type in the C colon, or if your image is on a different drive, type in E etc. So mine is on my C drive, so yeah, I'll be typing that. And make sure that you have your double slashes or else you have an error like this. So, yeah, make sure you have your double slashes. And then now you type in the location of your image. Users, double slashes, me. Double slashes desktop double slash and the name of the image which mine is bg logo dot png so yeah I have my extension and the name of my image and it, these are my path to my image so remember this right here, set icon and the object and the way you type in your location. And now let's type or let's add that to the J panel. So let's use this this uh JP from this from this object, which is JP dot add JL. We're adding JL onto the J panel. And now we have to add the J panel onto the frame. So yeah, add a JP. And we're not done yet. We have to type in this one code called validate, open close parentheses, and that's it. And the reason why we have to use this is because that it actually validates the image when you start running it. So let's run it. And yes, we have an image right now. And yeah, let let me show you what happens if there's no validate method. There's no image unless you change the size of the window, which is not cool. So yeah, remember to add this validate method right here. 